The Fordham University football Rams are over halfway through their 2016 fall camp, so we'll continue our position-by-position position breakdown by moving over to the defensive side of the ball and taking a look at the defensive line. The defensive line had a hand in the fact that the Rams led the Patriot League and were 10th in the NCAA FCS in both turnovers gained and fumbles recovered. And the good news is that Fordham returns all three starters on the line. The returners are led by seniors Manny Adiaye, Justin Vaughn, and Brandon Ware. Last year, Adiaye started eight games at nose tackle, recording 33 total tackles, including six for a loss of one and a half sacks. He also had a forced fumble, a fumble recovery, and a quarterback hurry. Vaughn started all 12 games at left tackle for the Rams, recording eight total tackles, including four for loss and two and a half sacks. Ware started eight games at defensive end, making 13 total tackles, including four for loss and two sacks. Other experienced returners on the defensive line include juniors Tony Fox, who recorded 13 tackles last season, Nick Angeli, who appeared in eight games, both on the defensive line and on special teams, making six stops, Ty Green, who notched seven tackles, including two and a half for a loss in one sack in nine games, Jonathan Diamond, who saw action in 10 games last year, and John O'Boyle. Sophomore Kevin Coyne, who saw action in two games as a freshman. J.M. Knockett. And Eric Rotzalk, who appeared in two games as a freshman, notching one quarterback Curry, also returned to the line. Newcomers to the line include Johnny Pasinich, a second-team All-State selection in 2015 at Old Tappan High School in New Jersey. Michael Ware, a 2015 first-team All-Allegheny Conference selection at Shadyside High School in Pittsburgh. And Matt DeAndrea. First of all, how's camp been going? Uh, camp is good, you know, camp is camp. Uh, guys get banged up, but we're out here grinding offense and defense, what we have to do, making plays. And uh, right now, we're just, we're just in the grind of it, you know, we're working hard day in and day out. You mentioned guys getting banged up, the D-lines, you know, they had a few guys banged up, but that's created space for some of the younger guys, less experienced guys to step up. How's that been going so far? I mean, how are some of these younger guys stepping in? Oh yeah, it's, it's been great. Uh, you know, we have guys like Eric Rossall, uh, John Diamond, Jam Naka, the list goes yeah. on. Uh, you know, the list just goes on. Uh, it's, it's good because, you know, in the spring, you know, they, they were uh, able to get reps as well. And it's just good to know that we got depth, you know, as a D-line. So when everyone has to get down, get hurt, you know, they can step in. How important is that depth? Obviously, throughout a season, people are going to get injured. So how important is it for those guys to get that experience now so that it translates in September, October? Yeah, oh, it's very important because, you know, there's, there's only so many limited practices, especially now in August. Uh, it's very important that they get these reps and they understand what they have to do. You know, we have a next man uh, in mentality right. here on this team. So no matter who goes down, no matter who it is, you, your job is to step in and do the same thing.